For the second part of this project, the lathe work has been completed and the only things left to do are locate and mark the mounting holes, drill and tap them, and test fit the assembly on the wheel. Even though I made the template piece, the rotor will provide much more accurate locations, so I opted to use it instead. I also added a couple pieces of tape to prevent it from rotating while locating the hole. I bought these center punches off comment recommendations as a useful tool to have and I'm surprised how often I use them already. I'll put a link in the description for them as well. First I had to drill the through hole to be threaded and followed it up with a larger bit to countersink the mounting side to match the shoulder on the stock Suzuki bolts. Threading these holes were a tremendous amount of effort, so if anyone has any suggestions on how to make it easier, please comment below. Finally, with the rotor mounting holes done, I had to carefully locate the hub mounting holes relative to the rotor mounting holes and again mark them using a center punch. Since I used the template to mark these holes, I double checked it against the old rotor which has the same bolt pattern as the hub just to be sure. 
While this wasn't a very high-tech way of making sure these holes were in the correct positions, it ended up working out pretty well. These weren't through holes, so it was a lot harder to clear the chips when threading, which was still a lot of work. With everything drilled and threaded, it was time to test the fit and more importantly the trueness. I think the hub mounting holes need to be tapped a little further, but there will also be a speed sensor to take up some of the extra space. Overall, I'm really happy with the alignment of all the mounting holes. It was definitely a little tricky to make sure all nine holes were both in their respective correct locations and not interfering with each other.
As a side note, the new setup with the rotor, adapter, and bolts only weighs about an ounce and a half more than the original rotor. I used the original axle to do a couple low-tech spin tests to check for any obvious out of round and I think it went together as good as it could have. That's it for this video. Thanks again so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe.